Hello, today we will discuss about how you can make uh, a transition from working as a data scientist to quantitative finance. Many people have asked this question to me, so I thought of making a video on this. There are quite some overlap between data science and quantitative finance. I have uh, talked about it uh, in various videos on this channel, but I will uh, repeat for the ones who have not watched those videos. There's a lot in common. Uh, both fields are technical fields. Uh, data science is as technical, if not more technical as quantitative finance. Although I would say data science is more software engineering driven, whereas quantitative finance is more mathematics driven or finance driven. But nevertheless, both are equally quantitative, equally technical. Both use statistics, mathematics, computer science, machine learning, artificial intelligence, and so on and so forth. But both are uh, extremely uh, technical in nature. Uh, both require uh, to have good coding skills. But there are many differences as well. It's very important to know the differences before you uh, make a move from one to the other. And if you want to make a move from data science to quantitative finance, it's extremely important that you understand uh, the differences. There are no doubt there's common things, but there are many differences as well. Quantitative finance is mostly used in finance. There are some non-finance companies which who, that also use quant finance. For example, oil companies have their own uh, asset management uh, department that uh, uses quantitative finance. However, most of the jobs that you will find are in the field of finance, either in banks, insurance firm, asset management firm, trading firms, rating agencies, NBFCs, fintechs, uh, payment companies, uh, and so on. Sovereign wealth funds, pension funds, and so on. There are like many subsectors, but it's primarily a field in the field of finance. There are various types of finance. Banking is one type of finance. Insurance is another type of finance. In, uh, asset management, wealth management is another type of finance. Many areas, sub areas of finance, but jobs will always be in some area within finance. You will not find a quant finance position in an e-commerce company or in a manufacturing company. Okay, if the manufacturing company has its own asset management wing or uh, a non-banking financial wing, that can happen. For instance, many motor companies in the US, they have their own uh, financing uh, subsidiary as well. For example, Ford Motor has got Ford Finance or Ford Credit. Toyota has got Toyota Finance. So these are finance companies within the manufacturing company. So that can uh, be possible. And there are many such companies around the world. But do note that you can only work in the field of finance. If you work, uh, want to work in quant finance, right? Uh, and quant finance actually predates uh, data science. Unlike quantitative, unlike data science, which uh, came about, I think, about 10, 15 years back. Well, before that, there were also data analytics people working in this field, but it was not fully branded as as a separate field in itself. Uh, and uh, it was very different. Uh, now things have changed uh, quite a bit. Quant finance actually has been in use for over three, four decades even. So it's a very uh, well uh, defined field, although the 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 subject as a, I mean quant finance as a academic uh, subject as such is not very well defined, but as a career it's it's very well defined, and you have uh, a number of things very um, unique to this field. And I'm going to discuss more about that. Uh, for example, quant finance is very much uh, into statistics, econometrics, right? You will be building this the linear regression model, but not how the data science people build using machine learning, but you will be building this model using econometrics way, which is about you know understanding and checking the model assumptions properly, ensuring that the model is academically good and it uh, doesn't violate any assumptions so on. Something that you rarely do in 
data science projects in data science you mostly care about predictions whereas in finance you also care about the interpretability of models and not just about prediction accuracy quantitative finance has mathematical topics which are not found in data science for example stochastic calculus is one such uh, f- mathematical topic that is heavily used in many areas of finance uh, quant finance not all areas though whereas it's almost not even heard about many in in data science many academic models are there in quantitative finance like there are peop- you know models published in finance journals which are used for example in the asset liability side on on even market risk side on trading side you will you will have to read research papers to understand the models and then you have to build these models uh, for your work which is almost not found in data science although in some research level data science for example the ones who work in ai and advanced uh, ml uh, work in big tech firms like google microsoft they obviously read research papers in machine learning and and, and so on but i have not come across people let's say working in uh, in any commerce firm as a data scientist reading research paper machine learning research paper and replicating some of these algorithms in their day to day work that's almost never the case but in finance that is more normal okay so you have to be able to you know read these papers and do things financial regulation is one major difference between these fields regulations nobody likes regulations and financial regulations are very strict and they are applicable to all all areas of uh, finance in some areas it's more some areas it's less but in all areas you will find regulations and whether you like it or not that will be part of your life if you work in any finance not just quant finance but any area of finance you will have to deal with regulations now in terms of career right how do you see a difference now first thing you need to ask yourself is that you know if you want to make a move from data science to quant finance you need to ask yourself as to why you are doing do you have genuine interest in finance or not uh, many people uh, ask me for career advice because they have been trading for the last couple of years after the pandemic and they want to work uh, in trading as a full time trader and make living out of it because they absolutely lo- love it and there by the way there's just too many of them and simply not many uh, trading jobs in the market right so you have to really ask yourself whether you really like finance and it's when it uh, when that question comes you need to uh, ask yourself whether you like just trading or you like everything about finance right if you have interest in finance you must have interest in some like little bit about everything in finance not just about just doing trading using your own money finance is a lot more than that right uh, so first think about it read a bit read wikipedia articles read blogs read a few books talk to some experts talking to experts always helps and then be sure that if you want to do it otherwise there's no point don't do it for wrong reason and wrong reason being that you just want to make quick money you can put money you can make money in any field you don't have to uh, make a move from data science to quant finance for that now data science provides wider scope compared to quant finance as a data scientist you can work in any industry every single industry in the world that we live in uses data for a variety of things right and you can work as a data analyst or data scientist it's a good thing it's also a bad thing it's it's a bad thing also because there's far too many people entering this field so there's no entry barrier whereas in quant finance the entry barrier is much higher so uh, it's it's a relatively niche career and therefore the pays are also generally higher on average a data scientist make less compared to a quant finance guy although there are exceptions uh, but my experience shows that uh, quants actually make um, more than the data scientists now how do you make a move then right from data science to quant finance first of all understand the field as i've said read more and more and question yourself ask questions ask question to other people watch some videos also that i would highly recommend some of these videos on youtube there are some documentaries also on quants watch and see if it excites you 
right uh, and it's not just about mathematics right uh, some people think that quant finance is just about mathematics doing mathematics indeed they will be using mathematics but finance as a field is is a very old field right it's been there for hundreds and hundreds of years right do you really like finance as a field right beyond this mathematics right in fact i recently got a question that he likes maths and coding but doesn't like finance is it a good option to move to quant finance i well i've come across many such people uh, working in quant finance who do not have much interest in finance but have interest in maths and and coding and they do not have a, a better job elsewhere that's why they want to work that's perfectly fine and obviously over time you, when you work in certain field you start gaining some interest that might happen but if you have absolutely no interest i think i would suggest to stay away from it talk to experts i have just said you know talking to experts really clarify many things right you will not get everything in one way conversation wherein you just watch a video or read a blog that's one way con conversation right you will never be able to understand a particular field properly just by reading books and videos obviously they are amazing if you do not have access to any industry professional you can't talk to anyone uh you you, uh, you know nowadays it's much easier talking to industry professional but if it's still not easy then rely on videos and 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 blogs but otherwise i would suggest to get a one on one uh, discuss, uh, talk to someone uh, one on one over a call and ask questions what should be the road map well first of all explore be 100% sure make sure that you have a solid study plan you know this is somewhat academic right quant finance some academic so you need to have a study plan right you have a proper study plan that what to study what not to study you can't study for 3 years right you need to really finish something in about 4 6 months time or maximum one year time so make sure that what topics you need to focus on right there are some standard topics to cover if you go through the syllabus of a master's degree in any quant finance or financial mathematics financial engineering program in any of the university you can find the list of topics and then just you know learn a bit about everything you don't have to do everything in at depth just learn the basics It, it's important to know a bit about everything about finance quant finance and and the topics and just see what you like and then specialize right you can never be uh, really good at everything the, the syllabus is so vast so i would uh, you know suggest that either you can self study or do certification right um, both has merits and demerits i'll talk about that it'll take minimum 4 to 6 months time get longer actually right if you go for a uh, higher study right full time higher study it's probably not that easy for everybody especially given that it's it's uh, expensive and you may have to quit your job right but if you have free time you have money then yeah go for a full time master's degree otherwise just do certification self study combination of both could also work self study can be a challenge uh for people who are not that disciplined and because you know it's important to know which topics to study and which topics not to study and you know you'll struggle with uh, that if you do self study in books you will find a number of topics which are not used in the industry most books are written by Uh, academic professionals i would highly suggest that you know as a beginner do not try to read books which are written by professors read books which are written by industry professional it it will be much more um uh beneficial for you certifications are good but very expensive can be very expensive but if you can afford go go for it there are not many good certification by the way i have talked about certification on the channel but let me know if you want have more questions or you can get a better bit of both get the best of both which is do self study but also do a short course a 3 to 5 months short course to learn this field i myself has a short course you probably know if you are on this channel for some time but there are many other industry professionals uh, who also uh, have their own courses you know I, you know just go for whatever you find it useful but find a mentor talk to someone regardless of what you do find a mentor okay there are skills which are transferable like coding skills modeling skills your writing skills all will be extremely 
useful in quant finance. So if you have these skills working as a data scientist, these skills will be immensely useful. There are some do's and don'ts I'm going to uh, share with you. One thing is do not switch for wrong reasons. Uh, I have known people who have switched from data engineering, data science to quant finance, risk modeling, worked for one or two years, then had them move back. And uh, what I've uh, seen is that when you move back, your experience may not be considered relevant in, in, in other fields. And then that's a waste of time. You probably came just for money, but you lose money because you, if you cannot carry or if you do not want to uh, uh, continue for a long time, it's not a financial benefit either. So be careful about that. To talk to people in the field first, that's an absolute must actually. Do not assume that it's all same. Data science is exactly same as quant finance and you know that's actually not true. And have a long-term career view, right? Come to the field if you're interested at least for five years. If you're just interested for two, three years and you want to just return back to academia, you want to return back to other industry or you don't like finance, finance people are bad, this, that. If you have such um, views, then stay out from this field, I would say. Uh, and don't come for money, right? Read as much as possible and connect with people. That's my only advice. And if you have further questions, don't hesitate to ask in me in the comment section. Thanks, guys.